I have been a foodie forever, and over the last few years, I've really gotten into cooking. So today, I am at the Charcoal Grill and Bar in Los Angeles, about to have a kosher kitchen adventure. Oh, you mean like cover the yeah, whole yeah. thing? Yeah. Right. More marbled, and more flavor, more love in the, in the meat itself, right? I'm Deborah Eckerling, and this is my 2019 Jewish Bucket List. So I'm here today with Chef Lenny from Charcoal Grill and Bar, and he's going to teach me how to make some of their Mediterranean kosher delicacies. Yep. Okay, so, so this is our beautiful eggplant. Yeah, it's a classic, uh, you know, Israeli vegetable. And basically everything here starts and ends with the, with the charcoal. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna char the eggplant. Okay. And then finish up plating with some of our, uh, some of our garnish. Here's the finished product, okay? Once okay. We've, after we've grilled it, it softens in the inside as you char it on the outside and then you peel off the skin which sort of comes off easily once it's grilled right. with some attached. It gives it a little bit of extra char flavor which is totally great. So I'm going to have you flatten out the eggplant and you'll notice it'll expand. The whole idea is that the thin eggplant, now you've thinned it out almost like a carpaccio, like an eggplant carpaccio. Right? Okay. And and it's just going to be the eggplant with the seasonings over it, right? That's how that's how beautiful this dish is. It's like it, it's so simple mm -hmm. and delicious in its simplicity. That's what makes it so awesome. So I think a lot of people can't quite pinpoint what this menu is, what this restaurant is, and I think a lot of that has to do with because I have this very mixed upbringing. You know, my mom is from Italy, my dad is from Iran. I was born here in LA and I was raised in Israel. So it's like. This menu, I think, incorporates all of those mixed cultures into one thing. Israel is the result of the Jewish diaspora and everyone bringing together what they learned from that culture. So that's what makes Israel so special, that's what makes the Jewish people so special, is that we had the, that you know, mix of, of, uh, of, of culture. And uh, I think that this restaurant is a really amazing representation of that. Uh, fusion. And I think that that's what, uh, why I was meant to be here. Sprinkle a little bit of sea salt all over, just try to get it as much spread around as much as possible. Good. It's okay. tchina. Okay. And it's ground up sesame seeds. We make it every day fresh. That's just spot. This is a, sort of the classic eggplant and tchina. This is where we take it to the next creative. I actually woke up one morning and had this idea and just flowed and kept evolving until I got this. So this is uh, silan, okay? okay? Silan is a Israeli classic sort of sweeter um, topping. It's a it's a date. It's a date honey drizzle of uh, silan, okay? Okay. A light drizzle. Light so drizzle. like it's okay. like one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Ooh. One, there two, go. three, four. There you go, perfect. Kosher cooking, it's a culinary experience for me that fuses my Jewish traditions with my creativity and my food. You are what you eat, and that's the essential point of, of kashrut. We're very focused on not just eating whatever comes our way. We're very focused on keeping it, you know, keeping in mind and being mindful about what we eat. My food philosophy is that keeping you know, yourself to like a five ingredient max is a good policy to have. The less, the better. I mean, this is the way that what we're, what we're eating is, God put it on the earth just like that, you know? And that's, that's the, the, the best way to eat it. That's the, when the flavor is the best. These are roasted pecans. You gotta sprinkle it. You know how some people eat peanut butter from the jar? Right. I would totally do that with the, the pecans. That, yeah. That's just, mm, yeah, oh my god. Actually... I think perhaps the best thing that I learned about kosher cooking, other than the fact that it's just cooking, it's food, it's love, is Chef Lenny has a five ingredient rule. So to try and keep your recipes down to five ingredients to get the most flavor and the most joy from it. And it's kind of like a life thing too. Um, don't overcomplicate life, don't overcomplicate your food, and you'll be much, much happier and well fed. This is without a doubt the most beautiful eggplant I've ever seen. Oh. Good one. High five. That was good. 
I am such a fan.